Hello. One of the harder concepts for some people in the pre-calculus course are the word problems that have to do with linear speed and angular speed. So let's first talk about what those things mean before we go and solve this problem here. Okay, linear speed, think of your car tires. All right, they're propelling your car along some line. So the speed of your car, the speed along this line is, is, is essentially the linear speed. We measure that in things like miles per hour. Okay, angular speed is this wheels in one place, and we're trying to we're trying to establish how fast it's spinning around around its axis. Okay, so we measure that in things like radians per second. You'll learn more about radians when you talk about unit circle in this course. But think about linear speed is how far is this or how fast is this these tires moving your car along the line, and then angular speed is how fast is this object or this wheel spinning around in one place. Okay, so in this problem, we're dealing with a Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel has a radius of 30 feet. We're gonna need that radius to help us in our calculation. Okay, the bigger the wheel, the longer it goes for one revolution. So that's gonna help us. Okay, so when you're doing these problems, you have to understand unit conversion. What I mean by unit conversion is, we're told that the time it takes for this Ferris wheel to spin around one revolution is 70 seconds. So think about the fact that one revolution is gonna take 70 seconds. You have to excuse me, I'm not, don't write very well with a mouse, so you have to bear with me on that. Okay, now what are, we what are you trying to figure out? What's the linear speed in feet per second? So the answer we're trying to get is in the units, feet per second. So if you understand what units you're starting with and what units you're ending with, it's gonna help us figure out what we need to multiply by. In other words, revolutions per second to end up with feet per second Okay, means we're gonna keep the number with the seconds, but we gotta get rid of this number with the revolutions because there's no revolution in our answer. All right, so we, we need some number that's got revolutions in the bottom and feet in the top. Okay, so think about revolutions per second times feet per revolution. Think of it as these revolutions cancel and you end up with a number feet per second. Okay, so, keep, so when you're doing linear speed and angular speed, um, think about your units. It'll help you figure out what numbers you're gonna use. All right, so we need some number that is feet per revolution. In other words, in one revolution, how far is this Ferris wheel traveling around? And that's where this radius comes in. So what is the distance all the way around our Ferris wheel? Well, it's the distance around a circle distance around a circle we also call circumference. And you'll know from back in geometry, circumference of a circle is two pi times the radius. Okay, so two pi times 30. So we're just, we're not even gonna multiply that out yet. We're just gonna call that 60 pi. That way we won't have to round off that, that pi number quite yet, okay? So we're going 60 pi feet per one revolution. Here, we'll get rid of the one over here. Wow, this guy really can't write very well, can he? Anyway, sorry, I've got to get myself a, a stylus pen here sometime that I can write with. All right, so this was our we're going one revolution every 70 seconds. You've probably been, that's probably been bugging you that I missed the 70. Times 60 pi over one feet per revolution. The, the one revolution is gonna cancel and we're gonna end up with 60 pi over 70 feet per second. 60 pi over 70 feet per second. 
You know, in real world, no one ever says 60 pi over 70 is a number, so there's a good place now we can approximate that with a calculator. 60 pi over 70 is basically approximately 2.7 feet per second. When you're turning in your problem to your teacher, make sure you put your units on there. 2.7 feet per second. Okay, that is the linear speed. That's the speed at which this, if the Ferris wheel came unhooked and traveled down the road, that's be going 2.7 feet per second. Wouldn't that be something else? Okay, let's talk about angular speed now. Give me a second to clean up our act here. All right, so again, we gotta think about our units. Okay, our angular speed, we wanna be in radians per second. All right, so what did they give us? Remember we started out with the, it's going one revolution for 70 seconds. We're gonna multiply by some number. Yikes, let's see if I can make a simple dot. We're gonna multiply by some number and we want it to give us radians per second. So we wanna keep the seconds Again, we want to cancel out the revolutions. And we want radians on top. So we need a number to know how many radians we're going per revolution. Okay, you're going to talk a lot about this with your unit circle in this course. But basically, how many radians are you traveling when you go one revolution about a circle? Don't know whether you've talked about this yet, but it's um, it's needed for this problem. Okay, if you go around a circle, you're going two pi radians for every one revolution that you make. Okay, two pi is the same as 360 degrees when you're on your unit circle. Okay, our revolutions will cancel. We're gonna end up with radians per second. So think of it as two pi divided by 70. Again, we're gonna need a, dec a decimal approximation for that. So two, and go ahead and use, use the pi symbol on here. You don't have to approximate, you don't have to put 3.14. Divided by 70. Oh, let's get that back. And what let's call this 0.09. Okay, we're gonna round this off to 0 0.09. 0 0.09 what? Don't forget your units. It's radians per second. And don't forget what we're talking about. We're talking about angular velocity. So this is the speed this Ferris wheel is spinning around and around and around. It's spinning around um, 0 0.09 radians per second. When you talk about the unit circle, you'll be able to convert radians to degrees. We won't do that here but we could also find out how many degrees per second the Ferris wheel is spinning around. I hope this helps. Good luck with your pre-calc.